Yo, yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm RJ. I was going to have a live stream today, but I am going to move that back because we have some breaking news when it comes to the Chiliad mystery. Guys, we have an amazing community. I've been part of a couple different Easter egg and mystery communities, but the GTA 5 Chiliad mystery community is very unique. I have a few people that I know that have been part of this thing since the very beginning. One of those guys is Matt Willis, and he's made a huge new discovery that I wanted to talk about with you guys because this is going to be part of a big new discussion. We are here at the Archipelago Hotel where this actually links up to the Chiliad mystery and opens up a brand new mystery. Guys, I'll put a link in the description to Matt Willis's brand new video where he takes a look at this location and why it is so mysterious. First of all, you can see the three boxes. I'm sure they look very familiar to you. They're actually found in multiple places around this hotel, and it looks very similar, of course, to the Chiliad Mystery Mural found on top of the mountain. Now, we'll look at three particular squares that even have a top square that lines up with them perfectly. I'll let you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, but take a look at the spelling of archipelago if you go to the outside gate you'll notice that these gold signs are intentionally spelt wrong i'm not too sure what rockstar had in mind here we know that we've seen this in multiple places even chiliad you can find has two l's on some signs that's a clear mistake that rockstar intentionally made now the archipelago is spelt wrong here with the i at the end Maybe there's some sort of clue. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to have this quick video with you guys, just to see what you think about all this and what Rockstar is intentionally showing off with the archipelago. There's some huge clues that I will be getting to. You can see that that sign is gold, but if you go down just a little bit, you can see this one is spelled correctly. Now there are other signs found around the other entrances that are gold and spelled incorrectly. But that one right there with the blue writing is actually correct. Not too sure what that's all about. Once again, you know Rockstar intentionally put that there for us to find. Also, you do have the Enema store. We all know what an Enema is. If you do not, maybe Google it. It is uh, not good. But the Enema is actually a clothing brand that has been seen in other Grand Theft Auto games. It's really not here in GTA 5 except for this one location, which just so happens to be at the Archipelago Hotel. Now, you guys might be wondering what Archipelago means. The definition is a group of small islands. And here in Grand Theft Auto V San Andreas, there's a bunch of small islands. The one group of small islands that stands out to me most is the one found up here at the top of the map. Not only can you find a bunch of dead bodies here correlating to the Infinite Eight mystery, but it's also part of the Epsilon tracks. And I just have a feeling that there's something going on, maybe some kind of volcanic activity. We know that Mount Chiliad is technically a volcano, so maybe there's something going on here at the northernmost archipelago here in San Andreas. Once again, guys, that is spelled incorrectly. There has to be a reason behind that. There's also a famous book called California Archipelago. It's by Ron McGraw, and that book tells us that when the earth gives, it also takes away. It's all about natural disasters. The front cover of the book shows a tsunami taking over what is likely Los Angeles. I have not read the book yet. I did read the details, and it really falls in line with a lot of the other tsunami and natural disaster aspects that we have with the Chiliad mystery. You might have noticed behind me, you can see the top curtain or overhang to the hotel looks awfully suspicious guys that is definitely in the shape of a spider web so not only do we have these squares linking us to the chiliad mystery we know that this is definitely a spider web and definitely something that links up to the unsolved mystery in the game obviously we have the two spider webs found on chiliad but it's really strange how they put this in that spiderweb shape, something that we have not seen anywhere else on the map, at least on an overhang like that. So let's get the bird's eye view of the hotel, guys. 
There's a few different things I need to show off. I mentioned the three squares. You can see how they are in a perfect alignment. But if you go over to this side over here, you can see three other squares. Maybe I went to the wrong side. Okay, here they are. They're tucked away on this side of the building. You can see them right there. And notice how on the top there's another square that, like I said, aligns perfectly. This is one of those locations we'll have to check out in the upcoming days, maybe do a live stream. Definitely let us know what your opinion on the Archipelago Hotel is. Like many other locations here in GTA 5, it is based on a famous hotel. But really, from what I can see, there's not too much history that would align to a unsolved mystery here in the game. You can see also the pool is in a very unique shape as well. And that's pretty much all I can point out. The fact that it links up two tsunamis and natural disasters, you can see right across the street is this hotel that has these huge sun symbols on it. It just all seems to be aligned. Now, there isn't too much going on there as far as the main storyline, but it is pretty much the premier location to stay at if you were to vacation in Los Santos. Now, there's one other thing that I wanted to point out in this episode that Rockstar is definitely telling us that a natural disaster, most likely a tsunami, is about to destroy Los Santos. Thanks again for joining up for the episode, guys. Definitely make sure to check out Matt's new episode. And I wanted to finish off this video right here at the observatory. We've shown off the coral that Rockstar put here on the hills before. But there's one very interesting thing about it, and that is that Rockstar added it into the game. When I first discovered it, I thought it was on the 360 and the PS3 versions, but it actually turns out that Rockstar intentionally put this in to give us another clue that a tsunami is going to hit Los Santos and probably destroy everything. Look at this, guys. Not only do you have the coral reef, but you have all of the trash. This is one of the highest points in the city, and the only way that all this could get here is if a giant wave brought it here, letting us know that a tsunami is most likely going to hit the city. Yes, it also proves that a tsunami has already hit Los Santos, but I have a feeling it's just showing us the inevitable is going to happen, especially with the new archipelago clue. So not only is that pointing us towards the tsunami, you also have the three squares, you have the misspelling, and you also have the fact that we have all of these archipelagos surrounding San Andreas. Maybe that's exactly where we need to look next, guys. I greatly appreciate all of you tuning in for the episode. I really appreciate the Grand Theft Auto 5 Chiliad Mystery Community. Hit me up on Twitter anytime if you guys have a major discovery. The fact that this is something new that we're bringing to light three years after the game very first release shows you that there's a major unsolved mystery still in the game, and we are all going to solve it together. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends.